Hello and welcome everybody. Today we'll be talking about the extends keyword in JavaScript. And so the extends keyword is used in class declarations or class expressions to create a class which is a child of another class. And so the syntax is generally Okay, and then we'll have, you know, anything that goes in here, right? So we have the the child class here. Uh, we will we'll extend the parent class and it'll take in uh, all the attributes uh, and, and values that we have from the parent class uh, and merely it will add on to those. So this is an uh, you know, invalid uh, example because I, I don't have a parent class uh, as it's mentioning right there. Parent class is not defined. So let's take a look at a better example uh, and just save you some time. I'll just copy and paste one in here that I did beforehand. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. Uh, okay, so we have a parent class right here, which is animal. It will have uh, the constructor, it will receive a name so that you can uh, name the animal. Uh, and then it has just a, a simple function here, uh, which is run. Uh, and that will also accept uh, parameter speed it will then log that uh, phrase into the console. So that is the parent class. Then we have the uh, child class, which is bear. And in this case, uh, the constructor, yeah, it accepts the names. Uh, it also accepts the, the pups. It has the, the two functions here, uh, one being hibernate uh, and the other, uh, how many pups. So uh, let's create an instance of this class. So how about let bear equals new bear. Uh, and as we saw here, uh, bear accepts two parameters, one being the name and the other being pop. So we'll call it Winnie the Pooh Bear, right? So we got Winnie there. And let's just say he has five pops. Uh, enter. Uh, and so we've created uh, the bear. So let's just say we have bear. Uh, and so you can see here, uh, so Winnie, right? We passed the name Winnie. Got the speed zero, and you'll notice here that, well, our class here, the, the child class bear, has no speed attribute. That was taken from the parent class, as you can see up here. Whereas the rest, yes, it does have the name, it does have the pops, uh, which we have in the child class. Now let's see how we would use these functions that we have from the parent class, from the parent class in the child class, and it's actually the same as you would use them uh, in a normal class as if these were part of the child class. So for example, for uh, run, right? So we have this run function in the parent class, but we use it just like uh, as if it were part of the child class, right? So when he runs with speed one and then there that hibernate. Uh, and so this is when he hibernates, right? So this is the hibernate function within the uh, child class itself. And finally, we will do bear how many, uh, there we go, how many pups? Uh, and so he has five pups as we saw there above.